A year ago today, two suspects shot and killed a young mother, 21-year-old Kavion Nelson, outside of the Irvington Walmart located near 99th Street and Irvington Road. One of the suspects was Nelson's ex-boyfriend. Police believe a confrontation between her ex and her then-boyfriend at another location is what sparked the shooting. I sat down with Kavion's father on the one-year anniversary since her murder as a trial for the two suspects begins. A breaking news update. The woman shot at the Irvington Walmart has died from her injury. Nearly a year ago, breaking news changed the life of Charles Nelson. Not having her has been um, um, difficult. Um, it's been very hard. His daughter, 21-year-old Kavion Nelson, was shot in her SUV while outside of the Irvington Walmart. Her unharmed young son was in the back seat. Although a year has passed, it's a day Nelson will not forget. I'm trying to call my daughter and she's not answering. And, and so I get on her page and like anybody that's making comments, I'm like trying to message and call them through Messenger to see uh, what is going on all at the same time. Um, rushing up out of the workplace. Nelson rushed to the Walmart closest to KBON's home near Ames, but it was the wrong store. Before I could even get to Irvington, I seen all the yellow tape. Uh, I remember pulling up very frantic, knowing that that was a possibility of my, my, my daughter being involved in whatever was taking place. Frantic for information, he approached me at the scene, hoping I could give him some answers. I asked you, was, was it a young lady? Was she in the SUV? Is she still over there? Yeah, I remember you telling me, no, they took her to the hospital. What hospital did they take her? To Bergen Mercy. And I was like, oh my gosh. The odd part about that, I was probably about four blocks shy or south of the Ralston Arena when I got the call. So I rode right by my daughter. At the hospital, Nelson received the heartbreaking news. And the detective, she came in and she said, this is, det I'm detective so-and-so. I'm with the homicide department. And the next word she said changed my life forever. I'm sorry to inform you. Kimmy, I did not make it. My instant thoughts was why my baby. For a child to lose a parent, they become an orphan. For us as adults, if we lose a spouse, we become widows. There is no term in any dictionary anywhere that lays a label or identifies someone that loses a child. This is unnatural. The two suspects, then 17-year-old Dayon Williams and 19-year-old Marcus Wheeler, were arrested for first-degree murder. Their trial began this week. Nelson yeah. says this is a trying Thank time you. for him and his family as they honor her one-year anniversary while seeking justice for her murder. There is not a death penalty, but I don't think he deserves anything less than life. For those decisions, that him and the others made on that day laid a rippling effect on my family that will forever change the course of life, not only for me, but for her children. Now, in honor of the one-year mark since Kavion's death, the family held a balloon release in honor of the 21-year-old last night. They then went to eat at her favorite restaurant. We'll be right back after the break.